I will give you a short recap what has happened the last couple of weeks and what led up to the race yesterday. So stay tuned here. I have done some solo sailing. Here you can see the 21st of April, I think. I had to back out of the harbor because it's a bit too tight to turn around. Accidentally I met a motorboat, but he was very kind to back off. I took two reef in the main sail because it was uh, quite windy, about 20 knots of wind. And um, everything looked pretty good until it didn't. So I was uh, sailing pretty close to my new home harbor, but uh, when I sheeted in, you, you can see in the sails it's some um, uh, stretches horizontal so when I sheeted in really hard the main sail ripped uh, when I was doing about 10 11 knots I don't think I catch it here uh, in the video but uh, it uh, ripped a very long rip uh, so I had to send it into my sail maker one week later my sail was fixed but I also uh, did a lot of patching myself. That's why it looks like a true pirate sail. I will not blame the, my sail maker for all those uh, black uh, bandage uh, on the sail. That's my, uh, yeah, that's my cause. Here I'm sailing in just making a turn into the uh, Learshill Harbor uh, and um, you can also see it's kind of cold uh, I think it was like 10 degrees still 10 degrees uh, Celsius I have my winter burglar uh, hat on and uh, I think even my yeah not my dry suit but uh, it was cold Are you ready, Grotko, for sailing? Some serious <laughs> sailing? Some serious sailing? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be fun. First, you need to fix up the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a trouble. The first test, uh, it's, it's actually not easy. I can, uh, I can show you. Is it like for the. Just three days later, the weather was completely different, uh, about 15 degrees warmer. Um, I was sailing and teaching uh, my friend, uh, one guy, uh, Mr. Grotkop from Germany, that never sailed uh, before, or almost never sailed, and uh, my friend Bedran from Croatia uh, was joining us as well. So I tried to teach them some tricks uh, with sailing. Uh, I promised them that we should do 12 knots. It was kind of gusty and uh, we were doing it about 12, 14 knots here and then shit strikes again. The hail yard or one line to the hail yard uh, went off and the uh, main sail fell down already after 20 minutes it was just rolling up the mainsail and go back to the harbor luckily we have a big crane in uh, Valda and the longest uh, stick I ever seen to do things like this so this small line broke on the main sail maybe those are bad as well i don't know here is one that is not going oh. looks like the same same design anyway we fixed it in 15 minutes um, so 
no worry at all, but we went back to the parking place. Then, finally, the week after, the first Wednesday regatta. Uh, Henrik was back and could steer a boat. It was four boats in the regatta, XB38, CB66 Racer and an Aphrodite 25 and uh, us, of course. It was very, very light wind, about four, four knots, two meters per second wind. And the track was like a, a triangle track, looked very promising. Uh, so start with the wind from the side or in port and then downwind and then upwind and then in the end it should be some wind from the side again. Henrik did a really good start, uh, just close to the port uh, start flag and um, you can see it's a lot of waves all sea coming in so the boat is uh, rocking pitch polling um, but the camera is compensating We got a very good start anyway, and uh, after some few seconds the other boats uh, ended up in our wind shadow uh, and we were lucky to get some uh, meters from them there. I think they were fighting with the waves as well and the little, little wind. Uh, you can see the XP38. Uh, rocking as well even if the camera is compensating a lot and have a stable horizon here the first mark before you turn down when is just a few hundred meters uh, away some minutes uh, and we got a really good um, advantage here but things were going to change. We haven't uh, been sailing anything, me and Henrik together, since October, I think. So we were a bit rusty, but uh, we set Jernacker and it worked pretty good. Uh, anyway, not not too bad in the light uh, light wind. Here you can see the, the mark, an XP38, uh, not too far behind. After just a few minutes, the XB38 um, was catching up with us and it was difficult to hold them behind. They could go even deeper with same speed. Um, maybe it was uh, their length that made them uh, a bit smoother in waves. And after the downwind, the track was shortened due to the light wind and we had to go straight back almost to the finish line and we were missing that long uh, um, reaching that we were hoping to use our code zero. First Wednesday race of the season in Lerskjöl. We have uh, we did a pretty good start, a long downwind, and now it's upwind. We are right after XP38, and in the front it's also an Aphrodite 25. A bit too light and big waves, but uh, we are moving at least.
close to the last mark I prepare the code zero that you can see hanging in the front there to furl it out when we're going around the, the mark. First boat managed to use their jamnacker so they did pretty good speed as well and I don't think we could uh, catch too much here. At least we increased the speed from 3 knots to 5 uh, and uh, 6 uh, maybe. So yeah, that very good, very good angle for code 0 uh, I would say uh, until the finish line but it was only 5 minutes. Våga with Bo Larsson won the race, CB66 uh, and Björn second and Aphrodite uh, on third. We ended up last uh, due to the handicap, uh, but it was a great first race, first race ever in uh, Leerkiel. We took some beers on the way home, we have like uh, 20 minutes back to our port. And it was super nice weather. So, yeah, already looking forward to the next race. And as you can see, the pirate sail yeah, looked like a mess. But uh, it's holding together for now. So, yeah, let's see what's happened with that. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. And uh, see you soon again. Bye for now. And please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more content here.